Yeah, it is hard to keep going because obviously it's your dream since you were young and to be told no, it, it is quite heartbreaking. But you, yeah, you have, to, you have to keep going. You have to believe in yourself. I'm very happy I made my league debut, third league in England. It's amazing. It's like a dream come true, actually. But I, I was not sure if it happened, but it did. We all dream of making it in professional football, but often that wish is met with disappointment. Kuhn Leo Tudeko and Keenan Dunmo Turan didn't give up. They took on that disappointment and still made their dreams a reality. Yeah, at the time I was struggling because I just left Watford. I'd been at Watford since I was seven years old. Didn't really have an agent, didn't have a club, so I would, pretty much I was stuck. So I compiled a video with all my old footage, put it online, and I think maybe a friend showed it to the Goddess and then contacted me, told me to come to one of his showcase events. Yeah, I played, played, played quite well. I scored in like 10 minutes, and then the next day I was at Nottingham Forest on trial. In the last two years and three years in Germany was not good for me, actually. Trainers didn't let me play too much. So, um, yeah, I wanted something new. Obviously, it was a big thing for me, just fly over and you never know what happens. Uh, so, I just did it and, yeah, it worked out well for me. Kunle Otsudeko was let go by Watford's academy system, but he has since bounced back to get a contract at Bristol Rovers with the help from the Ask Goddess Academy. I was once a part of these sessions he holds weekly so I'd been on trial Forest, Millwall, I actually went to Iceland as well so I was trying everything at the time yeah, yeah a long way away but yeah um, this summer I was training at Wingate and Finchley did pre-season with them I've actually played in a showcase game the season like towards the end of last season and I think Bristol saw me in that said I'll come down at some point in pre-season then towards the end of pre-season they called me in again and like what they saw and offered me a deal, so yeah. For Keenan, he took a gamble. He bought a plane ticket from Dusseldorf to London. He played in Nascoda's Academy Showcase game. He impressed in that game. He got trials and he has since made his debut for Bristol Rovers in League One. Um, I got three trials. I was at QPR first, then I was at Barnsley and then I was at Bristol Rovers. I played actually two trial matches. Um, did well, scored three goals in them. The gaffer gave me training, training with the first team. was very nice to me, the lads were very nice to me. Um, then the gaffer, he told me they all come to the game to Portsmouth. I um, was really surprised, I wouldn't su uh, suspect that. But I was on the bench, I was not thinking that I would go in. I just heard my name, I was like looking around like, is it me really, should I warm up? But he said, no, you're going on the pitch. Yeah, I was preparing and best day of my life, definitely. Where was I? I was in one of the teammates' apartment, sleeping on the sofa, actually. I got a call from God and he's like, I think they're going to they're gonna offer you something. And I, I can't even describe the feeling. It's just everything I've been working for has finally, finally come. And it's a, it's a great feeling. Yeah, obviously, I was buzzing. Yeah, I just, I just phoned my parents to tell them. They were nervous for me as well because I was away from home for two months. Uh, I was at university, I was signing myself in, but obviously when I got uh, Bristol Rovers signing, I wasn't going to uni anymore. I think I'm better on the pitch than I'm on the maths and physics. I actually had a place in university, so yeah, I would have been studying business management. Which uni? <laughs> Loughborough, actually. I think the most important thing is to believe in yourself even when nobody else is, because um, it's your life, your decisions, and not everybody will like you, um, but if you stop, stop believing in yourself, then it's, it's off. You have to believe, you have to be nice, smile, train hard, be likeable, and you never know.